everybody and welcome to another Sporties Product Pyrep video. I'm John and today we're flying with the Toxin 3 carbon monoxide detector. This is a product that quite literally saved my life a few months ago. So let's go flying. So let's start out with why you need a carbon monoxide detector in the first place. We're flying today on a cold winter day, and like in most airplanes in this Cetabria, the heating system is provided by a shroud around the exhaust. So the warm air around the exhaust of the uh, engine out there creates heat, and then the shroud takes that warm air and sends it in the cabin. This works well most of the time, except if there's a leak in that exhaust system, you can quickly get a situation where deadly carbon monoxide is making its way into the cabin. As you probably know, carbon monoxide is odorless and tasteless, so you really don't know you have a problem. Unfortunately, carbon monoxide is responsible for a number of fatal accidents every year. In fact, the Aviation Consumer recently ran an article where they calculated they think more people are killed every year in carbon monoxide accidents than by mid-air collisions. Fortunately, carbon monoxide detectors like the Toxin 3 here are affordable, easy to use, and really reliable. Here are a couple reasons we like the Toxin 3 so much. Number one, it's portable. So you don't have to install it. If you're a renter or a flying club member, it's easy to take along with you on any flight. It's also battery powered. It's replaceable uh, batteries, so you don't have to do a long and complicated recertification or anything like that. But most importantly, it works. It has three different alert modes. It, it beeps at you, and the beep is loud enough that even in a noisy piston airplane cockpit, you can hear it. It also vibrates, so if you're wearing it, you can feel that. And it has red lights, so even if it's too noisy for you to hear it, you can notice the red lights. It also has a digital display, so you can see what the actual readout is. The first alarm is triggered at 35 parts per million, the second alarm at 100 parts per million. And really, 35 is enough that it should get your attention. There's a problem if you see that in the cockpit. There are some options for setting user customizable alert levels, so if you really know what you're doing, you can do that, and that's a nice option to have. Although for most people, we really think those built-in manufacturer alerts are going to be plenty good enough. One of the nice things about the Toxin 3 is you can clip it to your seatbelt or your jacket so you can wear it and have it always with you. That also gets that alert closer to your ears so you have a better chance of hearing it. Using this carbon monoxide detector is really simple. You simply mount it somewhere, turn it on, and fly. There's really nothing else to it. There's no calibration or anything like that. You'll notice if there's something wrong by the beep and the lights, and if you need to double check it, you can always look at the screen and see what the value is. So I mentioned that this product saved my life a couple months ago. I was flying a cross country in a piston uh, helicopter and I had a carbon monoxide alert in the cabin. I thought maybe it was just a false alarm so I turned off the heat, opened up the window to get a little fresh air in there and it went back to zero. After about 20 minutes I tried the heat again, maybe stupidly, and I got the same exact problem. But I later found out there was a large crack in the muffler and this was, as you would expect, pouring carbon monoxide into the cockpit. Without the carbon monoxide detector, I really don't think I would have noticed it because, again, carbon monoxide is odorless and colorless. You don't taste it. You don't really notice anything until it's too late. So for me, in the wintertime, anytime there's a chance of using heat in the airplane, a carbon monoxide detector is a must-have. For more information about the Toxin 3, visit sporties.com. And for more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for flying with us. See you next time.